Hello friends, this is uh, Lectures Reads on Public Administration and this is video 2.4 and today's topic is Weber's Bureaucratic Model, its Critique and post Weberian Developments. So in this video we will actually only see Weber's Bureaucratic Model and uh, its Critique and post Weberian Development we will uh, see in next part. So first uh, introduction of Max Weber, so he was a sociologist and uh, he wrote about administration also and uh, his ideas were uh, a mixture of sociology, law, economics and administration. He was a German sociologist and he gave ideal bureaucratic model. So what are the features of ideal bureaucratic model we will see later in this video. Then uh, first concept he gave about authority. So how authority should be decided. So there are five components of authority. So first is who is ruled. Second is who are ruled. Third is authority of rulers to command. Then fourth is influence of that command. And fifth is logic towards acceptance of command. So he says that means authority is derived, uh, means there are two types of people, one who are ruled and one who will rule. And they uh, rule by giving commands and uh, that command is accept, uh, accepted by rule because of some logic. So that uh, should be some rational logic like uh, what logics uh, people actually apply we will see in next uh, page so legitimacy of the ruler how it is decided decided so uh, legitimacy is de decided according to following three features uh, the types of authority we will see later and all administration means domination so this is uh, Weber's thinking like administration means domination right now we have already seen that post Weberian developments you will see that administration does not means domination it means cooperation but uh, that concept developed a lot later during Weber's phase uh, the situations in the society versus that uh, people were thinking like domination is the only type of administration then types of authority uh, first is traditional authority so he, here like uh, you can see the example of kings or uh, any feudal rulers so they were masters and they were having followers means close relatives and mantri parishad and everything so uh, means king was monarch and he used to decide his officials and they were a close system and uh, the authority why people were accepting that authority because they thought that uh, the king has some divine rule or some traditional power to hold that post and his son will be king after him then uh, the second type of authority is charismatic authority so this authority is found in those leaders who are by their uh, very nature means they were uh, so much attractive or their leadership was so good that people became attracted towards uh, them and they just uh, themselves follow their orders for example you can see that religious charismatic authority for example uh, Baba Ramdev he has a lot of followers due to his own personality he is a yoga guru and people follow him because of his skills and his uh, own personality or you can take example of Anna Hazare or uh, Arvind Kejriwal then third type, is, third type is legal authority so uh, legal authority means uh, which is based on rules or laws and second component is rationality so legal authority uh, is uh, means the best type of authority and it de depends on written rules and regulations and it derives its uh, authority due to the rationality of the people who follow those laws so now we will uh, see bureaucracy this is the concept that Weber gave and this is very very uh, famous and important contribution of Weber so first of all bureaucracy was also found in ancient China like 180 BC so it's not a new concept bureaucracy uh, bureau means uh, desk and crazy means working on the desk so means desk officers it uh, literally means and uh, these were uh, the main point is that these officers are appointed officials they are not elected ones elected ones are representatives of the people like uh, in our democracy or member of parliaments and everyone they are representative so they are not the f part of bureaucracy bureaucracy is always appointed then patrimonial bureaucracy and legal rational bureaucracy so patrimonial bureaucracy you can see in the traditional authority type like uh, the kings they used to appoint their officials directly and legal rational authority or legal rational bureaucracy this is a modern concept in which you see that uh, 
the examinations are held like IAS, IPS. So they are uh, those posts are legal posts and they are given on rational basis like merit of those people who compete for those posts. So okay. Now model of bureaucracy. So what are the characteristics of this legal rational bureaucracy? So um, this is the best type of bureaucracy according to uh, or best type of uh, administration uh, according to Weber and it has following uh, some uh, characteristics and uh, which you have to understand and you uh, have to write these characteristics in examination. So first characteristic is the impersonal order means authority in office not the person performing official role. This means that uh, the person who is IES officer he he is not actually having the authority by uh, himself actually it's the uh, authority of the post or which he is holding and if he gives some order then it's not because uh, the person who is following it, his order is not because of his own personality but because of the office that he is holding so then uh, second characteristic of bureaucracy is rules so it is based on uh, rules and regulations and uh, it ensures the continuous functioning of bureaucracy and uh, sometimes rules become more important than ends so means uh, which l leads to delays and complications in administration so uh, too much following of rules is uh, actually detrimental to the administration then a sphere of competence this is third characteristic so according to it uh, that division of labor this uh, everyone has told about this uh, division of labor concept is uh, given by Fayol, Taylor then later Urvik and uh, Gulik also so according to it uh, the uh, job should be divided uh, according to the posts and authority means uh, in a sphere of competence uh, your authority should be exactly told to you that you have authority to command to or to control this uh, position or this number of people or this area so everything should be clearly defined then hierarchy hierarchy means lower offices under the control and supervision of higher ones so we have already discussed a lot about hierar hierarchy uh, in which uh, means uh, there is a systematic uh, line means uh, you can say that the top officials they have someone uh, commanding under them then you can see like this this is hierarchy say this is the top one then he has two persons working under him then they have some similarly this guy will be having some and this guy actually controls him and him and they control uh, all behind um, below them and this guy is boss of this one also so this is the top boss so this is called hierarchy means who is uh, who and he has to report him like this so this is the most important concept of Weber's bureaucratic mo model then some other characteristics are uh, personal and public ends they should be separate means uh, whatever uh, post you are holding and whatever resources uh, the government supplies to you they are not your own you have to do uh, use them for the uh, general administration for example you have uh, been given the car for your travel so it is not for your personal use it is just for the administrative use so when you become IS you have to use car just for administration purpose then another characteristic is written documents so every uh, every order or every uh, whatever functions you do you have to write and uh, uh, keep the records of those uh, things so this way everything is written means this leads to delays actually then fixed salaries paid in money so before this uh, like you can see in Mughal administration there was Jagir Dari system where uh, people were given particular Jagirs from which they can take the taxes but uh, in bureaucracy the salaries are fixed and uh, they should be uh, given in money rather than cash uh, sorry rather than kind means kind means like anything uh, jagir or grains or anything uh, then uh, strict and systematic discipline and control so this is also very important means the officials which uh, work under hierarchy they need to be controlled so higher officials will have total domination uh, over the lower officials and lower officials have to follow the orders from higher ones 
as Weber has already said that administration is all about domination. Then uh, legal rational bureaucracy is career service. You uh, get uh, opportunities for promotions and uh, your pay scale will increase slowly, slowly uh, with time. And full time occupation means uh, yeah, you are fu fully employed. You don't have any worries about losing your job and you are uh, administra uh, financially sound and secure. So you can work independently and uh, to the best of your limits. So uh, this is all about uh, the Weber's bureaucratic model and uh, you should uh, learn uh, like uh, maybe these are the important per impersonal orders and hierarchy rules written uh, documents. So these uh, characteristics you should learn and uh, you can write them in examination and the critique and post Weberian developments we will see in next part that is video 2.5. Post-Weberian developments are very uh, important and uh, thank you guys. Please like and subscribe. Thanks very much.